In the meantime, they are images that inspire, educate, and sometimes just make us say, wow. <laughs> yeah. Over the years, NASA has given us spectacular photos and renderings that reveal a colorful and mysterious universe. No doubt. And now, Chris Martinez is introducing us to two of the artists behind some of the most iconic space art in the galaxy. In a small, bright office, working side by side, let's see, uh, Robert Hurt and Tim Pyle bring the universe to life. What we're doing does have real science underlying it. Robert is an astrophysicist turned artist. Tim, once a Hollywood animator, is now a planet illustrator. Together, they produce some of NASA's most popular images, from renderings of how planets light years away could look, to actual photos of stars and galaxies captured by NASA's powerful telescopes. And this is sort of how it comes to me. And then I Many of those out. images have a dark, the grainy start, but color and light reveal an astonishing glimpse of how the deepest regions of space might appear to the human eye. What I'm trying to do is show people sort of the, the broader colors that the universe has to offer. It's a delicate blend of imagination and data. The artists meet with NASA scientists over many drafts to ensure a planet or galaxy's look lines up with the research to make each one as accurate as possible. I love the challenge. It's kind of like a puzzle to me of trying to create something that looks really cool within the restrictions that were given by the scientists. It can take days, even weeks, to produce just a single image. The dazzling final results, enough to keep us all dreaming of the final frontier for years to come. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Pasadena, California. The artists also say they have to be especially careful when it comes to illustrations of other planets to avoid colors many of us would associate with Earth, like blue for water. The force is strong with this.